From my book, 69 Simple Science Fair Projects with Model Rockets, the most popular project that kids choose is testing the shape of nose cones. This is actually a good project. Uh, we've gone ahead and created a set of nose cones that you can test with your rocket so you can figure out how high they go and which nose cone works best. What you're going to get in this set is an Avion rocket like this one right here which already has a plastic nose cone and this is a parabolic shape. Then we're also going to include four other shapes that you can test. And then this shape right here is actually a bulkhead that goes on the bottom of a payload tube. And we'll include this payload tube also. And then you can put this on your rocket like this and look at that. Now you can test your rocket shapes. And why do a payload tube? Well, you can go ahead and also order an altimeter. You can put that in your payload tube and this will sense the altitude that the rocket reach. So when you're testing nose cone, the rocket that goes the highest as measured by your alt altimeter is the one that is the most efficient. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so how are we going to do this when you order this set? Well, first of all, don't glue any of the nose cones on the rocket, okay? Don't glue the bulkhead into the payload tube. Okay, you're going to friction fit this, so you're going to put that in there. Basically wrap tape around half of it so that when it goes in it's really tight. Now you're also going to need a metal screw eye like this right here. Um, this gets screwed into the bottom and then take it out and then put a little bit of glue on it and then screw it back in. Now the metal screw eye doesn't come with the kit yet. We're sourcing that, but for now, if, you, if yours doesn't include it, just go down to Home Depot or our hardware store and they sell these there. Okay, so on the other end is you're going to put your nose cones. Now, what we have here is a problem because we have different shaped nose cones, but since they're different lengths, they're also different weights. And we want to eliminate all our variables, except for the one that we're testing, which is the shape. So how do we get the rocket to launch every time with the same amount of weight? Okay, do you understand what I'm going here? When we launch our rocket, this plastic nose cone is going to weigh more than this balsa nose cone. But when we launch the rocket, with the balsa nose cone on it, it has to weigh the same amount as the plastic nose cone. So are you, are you getting this now? Basically what we got to do is when we launch the balsa nose cone, we got to add weight to the rocket so that it equals the weight of the rocket when the plastic nose cone is on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to weigh all your nose cones. And then subtract, find the heaviest nose cone, which probably would be the balsa one, or this uh, plastic one and we need to add the difference in the weight to the rocket. Now there's several ways to do this. An easy way is to add talcum powder inside the rocket tube um, and that could be a ballast weight um, so that when the ejection charge goes off it pushes the talcum powder out um, and it launches with the same weight. Uh, another way which I prefer a little bit better is to put a little bulkhead in here and we're going to give you a, a centering ring like this one right here and a little cardstock sheet. So when you get this, go ahead and just glue that to the sheet like that. Pretty simple. Okay, and then when, you, when the glue's dry, cut it out so that you have a little disc glued to the, to the ring. And if any hangs over the edge and it won't fit into your tube, what you can go ahead and do is take some sandpaper and a sanding block and just sand the edges until it does slip inside. And then what I want you to do is to glue it in position. Now this is the only part you're going to glue. You're going to glue this ring inside here about a half of or about one inch down so that there's a gap between the bottom of this and the top of this of about a half of an inch. And in that spot you can just pour in some sand. Just go and get some ordinary sand, pour it in the rocket so that each rocket weighs the same amount when you launch it. Pretty simple. So that is the science fair package that we're going to offer you at a great price. Um, now that gets you your rocket and the nose cones. Now what you're not going to get in there and you're going to need to order separately is an altimeter like this um, or you could use a, a tracking device that can measure. These are more accurate. It is a little bit more expensive. If you lose this, you're going to lose a lot of money, so don't lose this. 
Um, you're also going to need a launch pad. Um, if you don't already have a launch pad, just go to our launch pad. We have the Sky launch pad, which is a great launch pad. Um, you're going to need recovery wadding, which protects the parachute. And you're going to need some rocket engines. Now, this is what uh, you're going to use all the same rocket engines. So if you're using B engines or C engines, don't mix Bs and Cs. They all have to be the same type. Um, you might also want to get some extra um, igniters. Um, it's always good to have some spares. And then another optional thing is uh, our book, Model Rocket Design and Construction, and our software, RockSim. Now you can download a free trial version of this, which will last you 30 days, which is probably enough for your project. But if uh, I think after using it, you'll love it so much that you want to get the full version for yourself. And this will allow you to predict how high your rocket's going to go, and you can compare it to the actual flight results. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that's, that is the Science Fair package, and um, I think you'll like it. So go ahead and right now, while you're thinking of it, uh, at the top of the page up here is an is a Add to Cart button. Go ahead and click that now, and go ahead and complete the transaction. And then don't forget to order the other supplies like the launch pad and the rocket engines.